Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play War Tales. So the plan for today is still gathering materials. At this point, what we really need is five more wood and then we focus on food because, yeah, for some reason it feels like food is disappearing much faster in this patch. So I think we will go hunting, try to find some boars, some wolves. And also, if we can get the all of the wood, then we will start cooking. We need the wood to craft uh, a cooking pot or whatever it's called. Uh, it's, I think, 8 iron and 4 wood, so if I remember correctly, need 1 wood for bow and then the cooking pot. We can't have a cook until we get the pot. Okay, so to answer questions before we start playing. First, who's gonna be the cook? I don't know, it's probably gonna be one of the tanks. I think cooks get extra strength, so I think we all have one tank that will be just purely focused on defense with uh, constitution and then one tank that uh, will be probably stacking strength uh, because the one-handed mace can do a lot of damage and sometimes when you get uh, some uh, arm some targets with heavier armor like leaders uh, it's nice having someone who can get through the armor quickly so i guess the tank uh, that's going to be stacking strength will end up being a cook as well that's one thing. And then uh, the other question was about wood. Uh, if there is some way to, uh, like, mm, how do you say it, harvest wood, I think that would be the correct word to use. Uh, there is nothing like that. Wood currently can be only bought if you get lucky, but it's quite rare to find it in caravans. You can find it on the map. I don't think I've seen it in shops, and you get it from some quests. Uh, there is a location called Woodcutters or something like that camp. Uh, we moved past it last time, but uh, that one is just a like quest location. At some point, we can go there if we work together with the with the refugees or actually even if you don't work with them we will get get there and from what i know if you help the refugees they will give you quite a lot of wood as a reward but before that we have to do some other quests so eventually we will get a wood we will get quite a lot of i think it's 20 wood there but um, we can't get it right now unfortunately so i think the remaining wood we just have to find Hopefully there is some, uh, some uh, in the forest. Uh, before we start looking for wood in forests, I would like to check the old lighthouse. So we have a quest here. So let's get rid of the uh, let's get rid of the bandits. And uh, if we get lucky, this might actually solve both our problems. I don't really remember what kind of loot uh, we get here. So I guess we'll find out. Okay, here, that's actually quite a dangerous fight. They're only level 2, so I guess we'll be able to take some of them out before they can do anything. It's gonna be a lot about positioning, we have to make sure that uh, we get out of the way. And why the hell do we have only 4 people? Oh, there is a 5th one. Okay. So this one goes first. I guess I'll just lock this one with the uh, with the ranger, and then the swordsman. Wait, in what order do they move? You go first. You go second. I could lock or not lock. Attack these two with the swords. I'm not sure that I can reach both of them though with one attack And then I probably wouldn't kill them in time um, What if I hmm. Do that do that so you lock him you two focus on one and you guys lock two of them Something like that, and then we try to stay away from this guy. 
he will probably be able to... Well, he might not be able to get in range. This His movement isn't great. And I could even use the spear at some point. That looks like a plan. Okay. Well, wow, that was a very nice damage. Uh, I could kill... No, I can't kill him because I wouldn't get the additional attacks. This is, of course, not an ambush. So we'll finish him next time. That's all we can do here. Yeah, we'll take the punch for the damage. At this point, is basically nothing. Please don't get close enough. Excellent. So it's one attack we are able to avoid. Who goes next? You two go next. Hmm... I mean, technically, I should be able to avoid both these two. Because I can go this way. I didn't expect it to go this well. Because, of course, I didn't know the order at which... Actually, I should have checked. I have seen far enough into the initiative line. Okay, can you get to me? No, and probably no. This is excellent. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I don't have the, the good bow yet. Uh, this is gonna hurt. No, actually, I can taunt him. I stay and then I move out of here. That works, I think. Can I finish off this one? And then taunt him? I'm not sure if this is gonna work. And the taunt reduces damage by 50%. That's the main reason why I'm doing this. I don't really care about them being engaged. There we go. Okay, so you two go next. So let's make sure we get the fuck out of there. Won't be able to throw that yet. If I stay here, let's say, that's far enough. Good. Damn, we need that bow. This is pathetic. Stop. Great. So what is the, the order next? So these two. And I have only one, one action before that. So one of them will get to attack. Uh, how much damage can I do? 27 if I... Do you good damage? No, that's not, that's not gonna work. You can do less. Hmm. Who goes first? This guy goes first. That's unfortunate. I needed them to be in the opposite order because then I would activate 
protection, uh, reduce the damage from the shot, and then the damage from this guy would be reduced by the weakening blow. <clears throat> If this one goes first, then his attack gets basically completely negated with all of the damage reduction, but this one then hits full damage and I can't do anything about it. If I attacked him, then there is the risk that this guy will go after the other tank, which I don't want. This kind of sucks. Yeah, this one is fine. The other one is gonna be a bit more painful. I guess like nine damage. Oh, I'm a six. Okay, so it wasn't that bad. Uh, who is next? You are next. So we engage. Uh, not much better here. With this, I think I should have the damage for a kill, or... Oh, come on. We need plus two movement for the archer, desperately. At least we don't get hit by this guy. Um, and that, then you go next. Mm. I will get hit again. I I don't have uh, don't have the valor. I'll just hit him and accept the the hit. It's not enough to uh, cause injuries yet, and the armor is already gone, so it actually doesn't really matter here if we get hit or not. Uh, this is gonna be for next time. I'd like to stack up some Valor before next fight and then we get hit here. <clears throat> this was a painful turn. So many attacks that went through. We are missing damage here clearly to finish some of the kills uh, in time. So who goes when? You are the first one to go, so that's pretty pretty annoying. I uh, need to kill him. Let's go there. How far can you oh do you have no chance to get there? One of these two will get a shot, and I can't really do much about it. Uh, actually, wait, you are not engaged, I just realized. So this one is locked in place. Then we will take the punch that has to happen. Can't, I, technically I might be able to get the kill, but I don't think that's what I want. 
How fast are you? Well, as long as this one is alive, not that fast. So if I get a kill here, then I can move here or the other way around. I'm gonna move north, get ready to get the kill next turn here for Valor Point. And here the problem is that the archer still has the garbage bow. If he had the proper tier 2 bow, this would have been a kill. Five to ten. He has twelve hit points. I would have to crit, and I don't believe that's going to happen. So instead, I'm just gonna accept that small hit, move up here. I get this kill. So that next uh, move generates Valor Point. I need to get anywhere. There. I hope I can make it. There's the punch. One point. Yeah. Oh, this doesn't count as adjacency. So I don't get the Valor Point, wow. And let's make sure we don't hit our own guy. Uh, and so you go first, which means move. Now we get that point. Finish him. And here we get another point. Let's make sure we don't run into the bear trap. Wasn't too bad. Now, what did we find? Layer location. After defeating a, a member of the bandits, you obtain the map indicating the location of their lair. So we want to take that. We didn't get food here. Well, actually, um, yeah, getting food here was quite unlikely. Uh, we want to check the 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 lighthouse. Before that, repairs. Here we are only wasting one point, so that's fine. Here we go for 10, that's perfect, and 5, yeah, I'm willing to pay for that shield. <clears throat> and you need one, yeah, definitely not paying for this and we took exactly the needed amount of damage not to waste anything. This actually wasn't too bad in the end. I'm not sure what's the last, what was the one extra piece that's damaged. It doesn't really matter that much. There's the shield and then maybe the archer got hit at some point. That's not the archer. Actually curious, swordsman destroy archer. No? Hmm, what the hell? Well, it doesn't matter. We have a level up, level 3, so this is going to help. And um, archer has quite interesting specializations. All of them can use only light armor, so that's another factor. We have hunter, beastmaster, and infantryman. Um, 
Hunter is the like most typical ranged unit that just runs around, shoots people. Um, special ability is recoil shot, deals 6 to 11 damage to the target, knocks them back by 2 meters and applies slowdown for one turn. So I talked multiple times about how I don't like knockbacks, but when it's a knockback that I can uh, choose to use and it applies slowdown on top of them which reduces movement by half for a turn then it's suddenly a very different story it's great for kiting it's great when you want uh, to cancel like engagement and you choose when it happens uh, so this is a nice like tactical tool uh, to use or you can just use it for pure damage mm. and this is the specialization that we will go with oh and we have a great level up also we got two dexterity so that will help with the damage output quite a bit then we have beast master one day i want to use beast master with multiple tamed animals I think it might be possible to play this game with just Beastmaster and animals and nothing else. So basically like solo solo archer. Um, the uh, um, actually you can you, you don't need to be a beastmaster to do that. You just need the beast mastery so that you can manually control your beast. Getting to level five. Trying to go solo would be a huge pain in the ass, but then suddenly on level 5 with the Beast Mastery, it would, I think, change pretty significantly. So maybe it would be better to do that as a hunter and kite your way to level 5 and then just add Beast Mastery. Uh, well, uh, there is no reason to talk about that. The Beast Master has ability called attack. All allied animals next to the target attack them with the attack of opportunity. Uh, so this is made for groups that are using multiple animals and uh, you just send your animals to one target and give them one extra attack, which can be quite a lot of damage. But when you can't control your, uh, your animals, when you don't have beast mastery, it's a pain in the ass because the animals tend to run to the middle of the enemy pack. They tank some damage for you, but then they die. And you can't resurrect them, they are just dead. So, mm, definitely has some interesting potential. I uh, would be Actually, maybe I'll try at some point, just for fun, go with archers only and like go with multiple beast masters and have each of them uh, using attacks every turn if you have like four of them and then they each attack plus order all your animals to attack every time. It could get quite crazy. But yeah, you have to have a setup for beast master. Then infantryman, another specialization that kind of needs set up for like the whole company to be honest uh, the special ability is barrage that costs two valor it doesn't target an enemy it targets a cone area that is eight meters long uh, performs an attack of opportunity against the, f the three first enemies crossing the area so when you activate this one and something move within or into uh, the the cone that you are targeting it's it gets attacked and uh, it uh, triggers three times this counts when you force something to attack so for example you have an enemy standing somewhere you activate barrage and the the static enemy is inside of the cone and then another archer hits him with the knockback it procs the barrage or spears, for example, uh, have um, the ability to move someone back. So you can prog this manually if you have the setup for it. Uh, I have seen this used quite effectively. I personally don't like it because it requires quite a lot of setup. Also, two valor is very expensive and you are basically not getting anything right away for your two valor. 
if I th I'm pretty sure if you get hit while barrage is activated with some kind of a knockback, it cancels the barrage. So you can just waste your valor and nothing happens. Um, so yeah, definitely interesting. I don't trust it. I have seen it used effectively. I don't believe that I can use it that effectively. So I'll just go with Hunter, which is by far the most straight up specialization and easiest to use. Um, and I think that this patch canceled the specialization bonuses. I'm pretty sure Hunter used to be plus one dexterity. Okay, so we are at 16. That also gave us plus one crit. Um, is there anything that we need? No, I think on level 3 the Hunter is fine. Doesn't really need level 5 abilities unless you go in Beastmaster or Beastmastery. Fine, now we just need the bow and, and the, the archer is fine. Um, you have completed the mission free old lighthouse report today, blah blah blah. <clears throat> so, can we get some food? And we have to decide who's gonna use the lockpicks. I have to decide on the classes that, I mean classes, on the professions that we're gonna be using. If I want to risk it and go the whole, st whole first county without um, an her a herbalist. I'm pretty sure I can't do. Let's see. So blacksmith. This is uh, tinker. No, this is tinker. This is three for now. Apprentice uh, miner, and we have uh, Alice without the profession. She's gonna be the cook. I will try it and try to somehow go without a herbalist for the first county. For the second county, I think I will get more people. I already talked about this, the problem with switch switching profession. You can have someone who, who, who does herbalism and the, then when you need you switch to a thief, probably you always lose experience to, for that, for that uh, profession. So that way you, have, you can have someone doing three jobs, but he'll always be novice in all of them. <clears throat> and if you get to apprentice from one of those classes and switch, you drop to novice again. I've tried that, unfortunately. You always have to start uh, as novice with no experience. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we know that. How many Alkwigs do we have? Six. Okay, we are fine. Even someone like me should be able to do this with six Alkwigs. That's one. 36 experience. And Alkwigging is so easy to level up. Oh, hey, food. Beans. Cured meat that only gives one. That's pretty weak. This beans give four. How does cure meat give only one food? Well, some beans give four. And raw mutton gives four. I wonder how much uh, you get from the uh, cooked mutton. There are some recipes for that. So those are probably going to be quite good. Okay, I'm making sure that I'm not missing anything, but here I think there are only two uh, two boxes to loot. The trapdoor are not uh, interactable, nothing here. Yeah, I really wish, wish there was a button that would highlight all interactable objects. Uh, almost there we go. Crap, the other way. A bit more. There we go. And there is apprentice. 
So what did we get? We got the 200, is it 200? Yeah, I think this is a 200x, we don't care about that. It's actually not that good. We got military report, so we, when we read it, we get a knowledge point. These are quite nice. And then we get tool horn. Ooh, I don't like this one. This horn strangely resembles that of a ram, but it must be tool magic that makes its various blows more powerful. I mean, 10% for our swordsman is really nice. And uh, the later we get into the game, the better weapons we get, the better this becomes, right? It's percentage scaling, so the better the base weapon, the better this thing is. Though the minus one movement point is uh, painful. Oh, we'll take it. So how does this work? We don't have one of these yet. I don't want to give it to the cutthroat. The cutthroat would probably just get the most damage out of it in the end. Or would get the damage most reliably. How much movement do we have? 13. Can we afford to go to 12? Oh, probably. And that goes here. So now we are at 12 movement. And the damage is 21 and 19. Without it, it's 19. It's actually noticeable. Okay, fine. Let's try it. What else? We can read that. And I think at this point, we've learned all of the blacksmithing recipes that we want for now. It's time to... Uh, this is so weak. No, there's no way I, I would burn a point on rationing. I am going to burn a point on uh, frugality. It's also not necessary, but I kind of like to do it. Uh... We could do endurance training, but I think I'll save one point for cooking uh, if we ever get it. I want, or we will need to learn one cooking recipe. We'll see if we get more meat from wolves or if we get more meat from boars. Um, and we we'll learn one recipe once we know that. And then we can start investing into other things. Okay, so that's that, that's that. We have food for two days. Good, so we're going to start. We have money. I'm thinking if we want to go back now or if you want to keep exploring because we can... Oh, another thing. We can reveal this uh, this camp. It's always in the same place, so I already knew what uh, we would see. Fine. Let's start, or let's uh, try to find wood again. When we are here, we don't really need to return to the lighthouse anymore. So I guess I'm just gonna pick up all of the crafting materials around here. Four. They increased, I'm pretty sure they increased the size of the um, herb stack. There are some bandits. I don't need bandits in the forest. I need animals. We have looted them. Well, let's attack them. Sure, we can. Oh, no, 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 no. We are starving. Almost. We need to eat first. I don't want to fight them with the 30% penalty. So, beer. Beans. Let's eat all of those. Uh, at least the cured meat is a really light. It's one tenth of the weight of the mutton. So it actually does have some place in the game. Uh, the weight of food can become quite annoying. So if you can have a food that's this light. If you can somehow get enough of it, it actually might be quite like weight effective. 
See, we are quite close to our limit. 17, I guess we will use all of it. Yeah, like that. Rest. And now, because we are above 15 happiness, so the happiness doesn't go above 15, it stops at 15, and then everything is transformed into renown. So we gained 50, uh, or renown the uh, influence. So we gained 20 influence. You have gained the following bonus. Experience gained in combat increased by 15%. That is a really nice bonus for... A Especially level 4 to level 5. That one takes quite a while. Level 3 to 4 actually as well. So that's a nice bonus. Uh, don't need to pay anyone. There, They didn't run away. Good, because the world... When you are uh, camping, the world doesn't stop. So... Uh, if you want to attack something, but I have to set up a camp first, it can happen that they just run away from you before you wake up. So, how are we doing here? I have to be careful not to get hit by the Marauder. Yeah, he does have AoE attack. I have to stay spread out. How do we do this? You can stay there. Um... Uh, uh. Um, uh, oh, I'll get hit by... And that's... One, two, three... Wait, 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 wait. I can just kill him. Do that, do that, and do that, and now you engage him, you finish him off, you take one of those, and we split this fight in two. The other option would be having someone here, but <clears throat> I think it's better to first focus on this. I don't think I can kite these two. No, I definitely can't. If the archer had the the, uh, the better bow, I would probably leave him here and first... Nope. Nope. Wait, I didn't notice. There is enough room for everyone. More than enough room. Where is our second tank here? So the tank will just get hit by both the poachers, unfortunately. But I can get out of range of the Marauder. We kill those two before they attack. That sounds like a plan. How far can you go? Oh, more than far enough. Okay, so there is no way for me to, to not get hit by them. Switch. Uh, this should work. Can't go too far. There we go. I hope this wasn't too much. Nope. Unfortunately, probably won't be enough. Of course, he stays on one hit point. What else would it be? I'm cursed in all games. 
That was painful, but it's because they are level 3, so they are doing significantly more damage. Plus, we don't have any damage reduction. Um, I think I want to save our... Oh, wait, 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 how far are, how fast are you? Actually, I have to get the fuck out of here before the Marauder attacks. And, interesting, I can't get here. Oh. If I get the fuck out of there... Stab. Now it might be better, yep. Just in case, I'm gonna step back a little bit, making sure that the archer can get close enough. That's a decent shot. 30 damage is actually quite decent. Good. first, you go first. Mm. Can't get here to him, really. What I can do... Should have used the other skill. Forget about the the knockback from the normal attack. Damn it! I'm hoping we don't get hit by this shot, but I'm pretty sure we will. This is annoying. Oh, by the way, we have a first uh, aid ability or some of our people, but you can't use it on yourself. You always have to heal someone or someone else, so nothing to do here. Uh. Okay, so now it's time to start doing something. You will move. I want to get behind them and hit both of them. You'll get here. Now the plan is to hit them or kill them in the order at which they will move. So this this one goes first. Which means this one has to die first. So 
unfortunately not enough, I think. Oh, actually, it might be. Nice crit. Ah, uh, the dagger is garbage. So let's take the money. Now. Yeah, I'm not paying for this re these repairs. Well, we don't have the, the raw materials anymore, so never mind. Okay, Valoris deed for our second uh, second tank. I don't like only five willpower. We would get willpower and crit, but we can also get strength, so that's direct damage. Um, definitely not taking plus two crit for the tank. That's a waste, unfortunately. I think I will just wait and see if we ever get plus two willpower. I guess I would take plus two willpower even over plus one strength, but I don't think I want to take want to take plus one willpower even if it comes with crit over strength. Yeah, here the order is plus two strength over everything. Then once, just once, plus two willpower over anything, probably. And then it doesn't really matter. I wouldn't mind taking some movement. Constitution, we don't really need that much. Yeah, the rest doesn't really matter. Uh, can we fix something here? We can. This is worth it. We need to have at least one tank able to take a hit or two. And now we have to go back. Let me check something. I want to check the forest from one angle, oh there is wood. We will at least have enough for the for the bow. These are probably mushrooms, yeah, I don't care about them. And that's what we need, we can craft the cooking pot anywhere. We need only uh, the tinkering bench for that. The bow, that's what we need, the anvil. Um, Please give me plus three, it would be nice. Nice, 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 nice. So we only need two more. Nothing there, nothing there. We could check, there are two caravans here. So first the one that's leaving. Uh, you've got iron ore. We have 22. Okay, we don't need that. I'm surprised that we are doing so well on the iron ore. We will have to buy some probably later. Uh, but we're doing really well right now. Uh, sure. Not that we really need to buy them from a caravan. The blacksmith should have a full stack again. But may as well. 
Okay, guys, there's your gold. What is that? Mushrooms. And now we should get quite a lot of money. So, first, the inn, get our quest rewards. Call it bounty, that's 275. Now we are over 500. And let's check new quests. This one is really tough. Matthias loot is ridiculously tough. Uh, rats don't like doing rats this early. No idea what this is and why it's hard. But it's well got Oh, I know what this one is. That's the abandoned layer that we found through the map that we dropped. Uh, this one isn't actually that difficult, but for now, I guess it's too early. So let's grab the easy one. Oh, it's taking us back to the lighthouse again. Some of these quests are just random groups that are running around the map, so you don't know where uh, those quests are going to send you. And some of them are like fixed location. Uh, like the, uh, In this county, there are two, uh, I don't know how they are called, like rat nests, let's say. They're always in the same place, so you kind of know where this is going to send you. This is always in the same place. This guy is always in the same area. Uh, but this is a completely random gang that can be anywhere. Uh, there is this arrow that's showing where, in which direction it will be sending you. But it's just a direction. It can really be uh, basically anywhere. Okay, unfortunately only one quest. I was hoping for a little bit more. Then uh, let's... Uh, we need anything here? Not really... Um, what do you want? You want we want one wolf meat. Uh, if I give it to you, promise we didn't find any animals that we could have hunted. I'm not sure if I can afford to give away for food. Well, I guess we will just uh, buy some food. We don't have any other choice right now. I bet that I spend like 100 gold on food and then we will just run into uh, packs of animals one after the other and I will start it, uh, I will have to start throwing away food. Uh, we can wait with this. You can just sell here. That's decent. Um, wait, 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 I forgot. Whoops. Now we can give the plus two movement armor to the to the hunter, so that will help with the super low movement. We can sell that. We definitely want to sell that. All of the Weapons. So many snow irises. Cloth. How much money do you have? 750. That's decent. So. Let's start with the food. I unfortunately have to buy some. Now we have enough for three days. We have to be able to find animals in the three days. Come on. I can't really carry that much more. So I guess we are done buying food. Oh, there is no one here yet. Just later, there is. there will be one extra vendor here. I wasn't sure uh, in off camera in my off camera campaign. I spotted the trailer later, and I wasn't sure if I just missed it or if uh, it uh, appears here uh, as you are playing after one of the quests. I guess it just spawns at some point. Okay, interesting. 
We can get out of here. Don't need there. Don't need to go there. Don't need to go there. So we just go uh, forge a wooden bow. They could add something like a Fletcher or a Boyer, maybe. If they added some some uh, larger variety for range weapons, there could be room for probably a Fletcher rather than Boyer. But if you added like if they added like crossbows, more types of bows, there is definitely room for that. It could work. On the other hand, I'm not sure if the game needs more professions. Those professions are kind of forcing you into larger companies and not everyone likes to do that. Then some fights become really tedious because the, the, the number of enemies in each group scales with the, the number of people in your company. So the bigger your company, the bigger the enemy groups. Therefore, the fights are much more not maybe maybe not complex but those fights are much bigger and take longer okay longbow let's double check that that's what we want to do and i would love to get the good bow i'm gonna fuck it up as usual but Yep, missed that one. Uh, although it worked, we got lucky. This is the maximum that we can get. Hey, so it is possible when you hit three and get lucky to proc a superior craft, then you end up with plus two. So finally something. Okay, now we could actually learn one more blacksmithing recipe and that recipe would be uh, well, either this but this is a medium armor that doesn't have crit and I prefer those it has a little bit more guard than the armors that have crit but also 24 points is really bad because you always end up overpaying for repairs. Uh, we could try to go for plus seven shields, but it's six wood per shield, so that's pretty ridiculous. Um, I think I will craft one or two of these and try to actually hit plus plus two on these armories because at some point we will get a perk that makes our raw materials repair 11 points rather than 10 points yeah let's do it Miss, miss. I don't. I'm not really trying that hard here. Uh, we ended up with twenty two anyway. Actually, if uh, we got the superior proc, we would probably end up with more than twenty two, and that would be bad. So actually, this is what I wanted. Yeah, on the armor, I'm really not trying that much with crafts because usually it's better to actually not get the extra points. Now we have to figure out who gets this. I'm thinking one of our tanks because currently it should be better than anything we have. Yeah, especially these rags are horrible. There we go. Uh, better shield, how, or what do we need for, uh, where is it, for this one, wood, oh. What I would like to see would be a 
profession that would allow you to disassemble uh, things that you can sell, yeah, like like weapons that you find or armor for materials. So, for example, get wood from this old club. Even if it was one wood, it would be great. I'm not sure if it would be better than selling it for 20 gold, but in some cases, hey, it would help. At this point, I would go for two wood for sure, because I really want to craft the damn cooking pot. Or, uh, where is it? Before I sell the new bow, I would definitely try to get materials from this bow. Okay, there is the new one. Forty-eight gold. It's actually quite a lot of money. And sixteen for this. Good. So we have food. We have all of the new gear. Uh, we want to repair, and we want to buy raw materials. Because he spent so many crafting materials, we are on 43 out of 66, so we can afford to buy quite a bit. I'll go for 20, probably. <clears throat> now we can exit and go. That's a good question. Where do we go? Don't want to do these quests yet. Any of them. If we go hunting, I uh, would have to go all the way up. I probably don't want that. We could just go through this forest, check for some animals, and then go down. Do the quest. Or we could head this. We could do this quest, maybe. I think we are ready for that. And then just go through. There are forests here everywhere. That's probably the best, best thing for us to do. Uh, so that's here there is a caravan uh, let's check them out oh yes how much is it five I am going to buy all of that thank you very much and we can already set up a camp Maybe I shouldn't have spent the last point. I didn't expect to get the wood so quickly. That was unexpected. Confirm. Cooking pot. Suddenly you can craft two. Tent. What do we need for the tent? Ropes and leather. Leather shouldn't be a problem. Rope you'll have to buy somewhere. Uh, but we don't really need the tent. Actually. I mean, I mean they are not that expensive. It's just about hunting some animals and then buying rope somewhere. Okay, there's that, and we have access to the new profession. So there it is. Oh, actually, it gives constitution. I wasn't sure. I thought it would. Uh, it was strength, but as I said, wasn't wasn't sure if it was strength or constitution. So definitely a skill that you want to give one of your tanks. Now, cooking. Which recipes do we have right now? Only bread, but I think now when we can cook, we'll go by salt because all of the like novice level recipes are basically a raw ingredients with salt. And once we get the tent, I'll also reorganize the camp a little bit because you can move 
people around it's not static and it um or there is a reason to do that I'm actually not sure if this does something see there are numbers next to each of the uh each of the stations let's say and uh i know that for example when you have four people sitting next to the fire it gives it gives extra happiness uh during each camp i'm not sure if this does anything a sign tinker makes one Oh, so every rest we get one raw material. That's nice. I didn't know. I actually never paid attention to these. Uh, it is daily food consumption by two food when you have a cook assigned to this. Don't really need it. Uh, I think food should not be an issue once we start finally hunting animals once they show up. And uh, the tent gives... The tent gives uh, extra valor points, so that's pretty relevant as well, so I should do it. But then we don't have enough people to use everything to full potential. That's for larger companies. Uh, and later we'll even get more things into the, into the camp. Okay. Uh, nope. Wanted to buy salt. Salt, we're gonna buy, it, buy here. Every food vendor should have salt, so it doesn't really matter where I buy it. Fortunately, we don't have the 10. Now, whatever, I'll buy 20. The problem is the weight, but we should be fine. Okay, cooking, confirm. Now we can just uh, here set the number and it will automatically craft all of it with one click basically. But uh, from what I've noticed, if you craft multiple uh, like foods with one click, it gives less experience for some reason. So if you want to get the maximum amount of experience, you want to do it manually one by one, which is annoying as hell. But uh, yeah, you want the experience to get to higher profession level to get uh, higher, higher stats out of it. So for a while, I'm just gonna be doing this, at least until we get, we get apprentice. After that, I don't really care that much. How are we doing? Oh, we got a point. Nice. So let's make the second grad. Uh, now the recipes. So it's gonna be either grilled pork or wolf sausage. I'm not uh, going for the medium rare mutton, even though we have it because we won't be able to get it from hunting and I'm, there's no way I would be buying uh, cooking materials. So there, plus six. So it's all of it is, plus, is uh, six food. And I probably won't bother with fishing, so grilled carp is out of the question. We'll probably end up with uh, wolf sausages, that's usually what happens. At least what happens to me. Oh, for now we can wait. Oh, ropes. Yeah, I'll take two ropes. I'll actually get... They're not that heavy. I'll get five ropes. Uh, because we need two for tent. And then we need three for the next tier of the of bows and that's all the ropes that we need for crafting so now we have all of it we probably will find some uh but in case we don't i want to make sure that we have everything that we need uh, is there anything here I'm checking the forests for animals Unfortunately, nothing. Let's check the caravan, then we're gonna set the set up a camp. Should be able to make it before we 
uh, lose speed because we get hungry. I think we should be able to get some iron. Yeah, I don't think we want to buy iron. Uh, okay, food. So bread is four. We're gonna eat the mutton raw. Uh, nope, there we go. This is what we want. Rest. And we produced the raw materials. I actually didn't know about this. It's not much. I mean, it's five gold worth. When you're buying it, it's five gold. But hey, it's nice. And we get the renown. Cool. Oh, do you have anything interesting? Stop. No. Okay, so in this run, I will go against refugees. In my off-camera run, I help the refugees. So here I want to go against them, see how the situation develops. And this is the first quest where we have to make the decision. Um, I never help. I will never help the refugees after what happened. They are all just like Bertram Lawless scoundrels. Uh, the lot of them. Nothing is beneath him. Bertram stole two cows and and a calf from my brother-in-law in one night. His family lost everything. And he had to think that we have to camp out here because of some pig-headed bandit. And that Bertram will stop at nothing to terrorize the yokels. No idea what that is. But when it comes to facing the guard, that's a whole other matter. Uh, you see that cave to the north? He's holed up in there. It's been three days and still he won't surrender. Bertram knows uh, he's done for. Yet... He continues defending his lair with such uh, doggedness that we have no choice but to starve him to death. That's why I need mercenaries. He doesn't know you. He might even let you in if he thinks he can convince you to help him. And once you have gained his trust, you can finish him off for us. We will make it worth your while, I promise. So our reward is 100 gold here, some influence and 20 points here for the like resolution of the of the scenario in this county um, except can we loot something pretty sure we can't just double checking yeah there is a chest here but we first need to get the key I want to get the hell out of here enter the cave and this is Bertram. So first, uh, let's talk to these guys. The thing that four years ago Bertram and I spent our days driving oxen seems like a lifetime ago. I hate having to strong arm the farmers, but he have no other ch he have no other choice. The citizens of Tiltron refuse to hire us or share their resources with us. It doesn't really feel good to go against the refugees. They feel like they don't really have a choice. They were forced into bad decisions. They basically had no good choices. Uh, but I just want to see how this works when you help uh, Tiltron. Uh, mercenaries, did Fergus send you to help us? Uh, Roman hired you to kill me. I beg of you, don't do this. We do not enjoy bullying the farmers, you know. We have no choice if we want to survive. Roman is the one who must die. I will match his offer. In fact, I can pay you more and you would be uh, doing a good deed. 
uh, once he's gone, the farmers of Tiltran will have no one to protect them. We won't have to force them to share their resources with us. Kill the captain, it's the only solution. So we can either accept and turn, and we get the same thing. Uh, he is not doubling the offer. Um, we can just leave this for now, but no, I want to kill Bertram. So what are we up against? They're only level 2. I thought they were level 3. So this is the leader and then 6. So this should be easy. I just have to make sure we get to the uh, to the leader in time. And this should show, I think, the strength of the new archer weapon here. How fast are you? Oh, that fast. So do that, do that. And I'll just do some kite thing here. Who goes next? Just to make sure that I don't fuck up the order. So you go next, and then you. So I have to get out of here. Good. And you can't get to me. Perfect. Oh, nice. Starting with the crit. Oh, he's dead. We have four valor points. Uh, hmm. I could go for a shot. Because we have now eight meters movement. Who goes next? You go next. And this one goes last. Thinking about slowing down this one. How far would I have to go? Not that far, like two meters. I'm thinking if I just... Oh, there's another one. Whoops. Okay, that changes my plans completely. Probably gonna get hit by the archer no matter where I move. Yeah, that's fine. With the weakness, you can take multiple hits very easily. Yep, here we'll get hit. I couldn't have avoided that, so don't really care. Uh, now we have one, one action here. Thinking if there is a chance for me to kill this guy, but. I doubt that. And I probably don't want to, to damage this armor. So I'll just... Wait, can I just go here and hit both of them? That would be ideal. It doesn't seem that way. If I moved a little bit closer... There we go, that's what we wanted.
And I'm gonna taunt him because it reduces his damage. Fortunately, I'm gonna get hit by the other poacher as well because I wasn't able to move out of the way. That kind of sucks. That was unnecessary. Okay, we can ambush this guy. I might be able to kill him with one stab. Yep. Uh, Where's the last one? This one. So at least this guy won't be able to hit anyone. Hmm, this is not enough movement to hit both of them. I don't think I can get to the to the archer. No. How far can you go? You can make it here. Do I engage? The problem is I can't really make it to the uh, hoodlum. Oh, it's only 50-50. Damn. I need that to... Why is it such a bad... It doesn't seem like it should be a 50-50 shot. How far do I have to move? 54, why? Seventy three. God damn it. Yeah, of course. Oh. Mm. Horrible. Horrible. The plan there was to slow down the poacher, just run away. This failed like all levels that I changed the plan to at least kill this one and it didn't work either it doesn't really matter it just we'll uh, get hit again unnecessary damage you can't do shit it's the best I can do then he can't get to me either uh, there end the turn Pretty sure the AI can't hit its own people. I've never seen that happening, and I've seen the AI try some ridiculous shot th shots through people. So it's only the player who can hit, or who can like, or who suffers with friendly fire. Uh, here we can actually negate quite a lot of the damage. I'll kill him and then I'll activate protection for the 70% reduction. That kind of works. Yeah, here if it was me I would have Maybe 40% to hit here. And the AI hits this every time. So I'm pretty sure it can't hit its own people. They'll die. But then if the AI could hit its own people, the the ranged units would be completely useless. They already are quite easy to like lock down and completely negate. Uh, so if there was friendly fire for the AI, then that would really suck. Uh, 
Okay, now we should be able to catch him. So how much time do we have? Enough. Let's get the backstep bonus, make sure. Is this gonna be enough? I don't want to spend the point. Come on. Here I'll probably have to. I hope the archer can make it. Should be enough. Twenty nine. Yeah, the damage is much better suddenly. And now with the galvanization. This should be enough. Thirty-seven damage. Cool. What did we get? Forty-two gold sandstone. I have no idea what sandstone is used for. I have not seen a single recipe yet with sandstone. Uh, so I'm actually quite curious. But it's. Definitely a crafting material. Slightly brittle rock could have many uses. It's a component. So there have to be some recipes, just I've never seen any. Uh, we take the bow. Now repairs. That's not worth it. Uh, I'm actually fix this because the uh, the archer is unlikely to take more damage. And when she takes damage. It's usually because something went wrong, so it's good to keep her armor always uh, fully repaired, even if it's not super effective. And you... we need a new shield. Uh, this is 6, 8. 8 points is fine. Cool. Continue. We didn't get the golden key. I hope we get one from Rovand. So Bertram is dead. My men and the good citizens of Tiltran will be glad to hear it. I must command I must commend you for your courage and your devotion to our cause. Here is the reward the Lady Myris promised me. You deserve it. Goodbye. Okay, I want my golden key. Oh, we probably have to loot it. Okay, okay, okay. So that's that. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, just in case, I think there are no iron veins, but I want to double check. Oh, let's exit. Yeah, there's nothing. Uh, here. Hmm. Uh, it's basically 60 gold and iron. The iron will be useful, I think. We could craft the second shield, I guess. Okay, one more thing before we end this episode, because we hit level 2 on multiple of these paths, I uh, just want to show what that means. So we have, uh, from power and might, here you can see what gave us points here. Um, we're actually quite close to level 3 already. Um, here, so level 2 gives us extra valor point. Trade and wealth on level 2 gives us possible to negotiate our rewards from uh, from quests. This one is quite effective, actually. Uh, doesn't look like much even when you first see it in action, but it adds up pretty quickly. 
So I kind of like this one. Then we are more or less ignoring this one. And you can craft the lectern. That's something for uh, the for the camp. And we don't need this and won't need this for a while. So yeah, only these two are relevant for now. Cool. Anything else? Let's try to find some animals, if we can just see something from here. We now have a pretty decent vision range. It used to be that you basically had to run uh, those animals to spot them. Now you can see them from quite a distance. Uh, refugee. The refugee leader has called wind of your actions. Uh, he wishes to meet you in the haven. We actually go to the haven before we return uh, to, to the village. God damn it, there is nothing to hunt. What the hell happened? Uh, can we talk to these guys? Yeah, we don't need anything here. How is this? How is it so empty? No boars, no wolves. There's nothing at all. And this is the edge of the map. Oh crap, well, maybe if we try in the snowy areas, they're more, uh, like, wild. Maybe there will be animals. We don't want to enter this farm yet. We don't want to enter this farm until you're level 5, basically. Well, I guess we are done. Okay, next time we'll climb the mountain because that's where the, the refugee leader lives. Uh, the haven is uh, above the snow line. So we'll go there. There is a huge forest. So hopefully we find something there. We need reliable source of food. And we'll talk to the leader and basically tell him to fuck off. And then all the quests that this will basically prog, we will always choose to go against the refugees. And actually, after we talk to the to the refugee leader, that will send us to the woodcutters camp, and there we will kill the woodcutters. I think that's how how it will go. Uh, and maybe that way we get their wood. What I know is that if we help the woodcutters, we would get 20 wood as a reward. That's the largest reward uh, or like largest amount of wood that you can get in one place. But it requires you to do some quest before uh, you get to it. Okay, enough talking. Uh, I hope that you liked this episode. I hope that you enjoy me next time again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.